Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a follow-up video to the previous video I did on using the Expo camera in your React Native application. Uh, you, just a quick reminder, I had this little button. You click, it shows the full screen camera. I'm in simulator so we can't show everything, but uh, with Expo camera it just gives you this black picture here to indicate a photo was taken. And you can see here this key that you get set returned is from the upload to Superbase where it gives you the actual path to where the file is stored. Um, what we want to do is we want to give you the option to use the image picker component which is provided to you by Expo to instead of take a picture to actually upload an image from your camera to Superbase. So first off let's take a look at the image picker. This is the image picker that we're going to use. Um, I'm pretty much going to copy and paste the bulk of the code directly from the sample and just integrate the Superbase uh, functions to actually upload the image so you guys can see how it works. There is one thing I need to do. I need to actually install this um, component. So let me install it. I'll go down to my terminal. And um, it's already installed, but just to let you guys know, this is the command. So install image picker. And so that's, that's going to run. We'll install it for us. Then the next thing is I need to actually import it. So let's go up to the top here and import it. All the way up to the top. So we'll import it here. And we need to get permission to actually use it. And we'll just add that permission underneath the existing permission for the camera. So we'll go up in here and underneath this camera we'll add this permission. Um, as I said, this is taken directly from the documentation. Um, we're requesting permission to actually use the image picker here. And then let's now get down and make some changes to the code. So one of the first things is we need a button. So let's take this picture button, I'll copy this, place, so we have that, but we need it in a row, so let's Add a view around this and add a view around this. Oh, sorry. And let's put some style on it. Let's say flex, because everything is flex by default. So we're going to say flex direction row. All right, so we get the next one. We're going to change it. So let's say use picker. And then um, when we here when you here's the function that we call when we actually need to use the picker. So let's just null this out for now. And how do you use the picker? Let's give us some more room here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go back to our documentation, and they have a function. So we're just going to put it right here at the bottom. So this is what you call to pick an image. And the behavior is very similar to what we, what you saw what we did here inside of Take a Photo. Um, and what else you'll notice is a lot of this is duplicated. So we're just going to take this whole piece of code and pull it out of here. Because if you look at this, it looks pretty similar to this down here. So let's just create a separate function to manage that. So we're going to say to const upload from URI we're going to put it all in here and it's going to get passed in a photo and what else it needs to be async so all this async stuff is going on inside of here and this will do exactly what we want. It's going to we already know it's going to upload the photo. It's what we covered in the last video. Um, all we need to do down here is add a return await upload from URI. We're going to pass it in this photo which has a URI on it. And that's how we're going to get the photo upload to work. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this exact same function, 
and we're going to move it up here to inside of our, um, not up there, down here inside of our pick image. And we're just going to put it down here for now as a placeholder. But let's look at the behavior that's here, right? You take your picture and then you upload it. So we're going to take our picture. Let's change this to photo for consistency. And then you upload it. And what else are we doing afterwards? No. One thing that's missing is I don't have it wrapped in a try catch. Let's do that. Try. Um, we don't need this. Okay, so what are we doing? We're uploading. If there's an error, we're just going to display if there's an error. So let's put that down here. So we're going to pick our image. We're going to pass it in. If everything's okay, we'll get past the appropriate data we need. And now let's look and see what they're doing down here with the data. Well, they're on, on press here. They're just calling set show camera. We need to do something different. On press, we need to call pick image. And it's async, so let's put async front. And the other thing that we need to do is actually set the thumbnail with the image that's been picked. So where are we in our code? Let's look and see what we're doing. So up here, when we take the photo, if everything's okay, um, we just set our image and set the local data, and that's how we get it to display in the field on the page. So let's just copy it. Go down here, back here to our pick image. We're going to be a little bit more descriptive. Const response. Why is my screen bouncing? Oh, because I'm on the edge. Okay. So, I think we're all set. Let's just kind of reload everything. Okay, and let's give our picker a try. Not the profile, we want to go to our photos, use picker, here's our image picker. Let's pick these, this one solo flower down here. Let's choose it. And did it upload? Uh, let's try again, use picker, pick an image, choose, And I'm not getting an image back, so let's see, what did I miss? Um, pick image, oh, I'm not waiting. Sorry, this is async, I need to wait. So let's go, let's try again. Okay, and we uploaded our image successfully. We got our data back from Superbase. Let's just load one more and then we'll go check Superbase to see if our data is actually there. So we have two images that we've uploaded. Let's take a look at our Superbase project. Um, you need to watch the previous video for more information on setting up Superbase and what we're doing here. Um, let's, let's reload our page. and scroll down to the bottom here of our images and let's see what our last two images are. So this is exactly what we see here. And here's the path information. And then let's see the picture we uploaded before. This one's too big, but let's copy the URL and paste it in here. And you can see that's the other image. So like I said, this was a quick video. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully you're enjoying the whole series. Please make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. 
and I will see you on the next one. I think the next one we're going to do a little bit more with these images, so we're just uploading them and throwing them away. So maybe I think we're ready. We have the pieces, so we can upload an image. We've used forms before, so I think we're ready now to go back to our home page. And on this add modal, we're going to integrate the camera. So it'll just be like a little diary. You can uh, take a photo, leave some notes. We'll use Reactive Form for that. You can close it, cancel it, or you'll be able to save it. And then uh, maybe we'll just give a list of all of them here. So I think these are all the pieces that we need for now. Um, please make sure you check out the rest of the video series. I think this is the seventh video in the series. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks and bye.